which were released All right, guys, welcome back to more Watch Dogs. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's continue. SIRS dis All right, see, so we captured Malik. Um, all I did was infiltrate his office, hack his, his main computer to get his files, defend the computer, and then Buckley hacked his, uh, hacked into the mainframe. And um, while Malik was trying to escape, he took over the car and drove the car, locked the car and drove him back to the safe house. That's all you missed. Uh, the file corrupted on the um, software again. I don't know what it is. Hey, I may have to dumb down the quality. I love giving you guys, um, I keep saying slow storage or, or something like that. So purchase an SSD, see if that works. But if it continues, I may have to dumb down the quality of the video. is probably dumb them down to just 1440p. Is that still 4k or 4k is just 2160? I, I don't, I don't know because you know, HD 720 is HD, even though 1080p is a higher quality. They're both still classified as HD, so is 1440p still classified as 4K? Cause that's my thing. I want to give you daily 4K videos. You know, other YouTubers, some are, but most aren't doing that. Most are still 1080p, 60 frames, which isn't bad. Hey, as long as it's HD, right? Okay, Malik. We know you were behind the embassy bombing and also the others. So just say it. The earlier bombings. What are you? Oh. God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. No, no. You knew about Zero Day before you came to us. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Whether or not you are Zero Day, you're still a fucking asshole. Get comfortable, Malik. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning. And you are not ready for what happens next. Okay. Activity is being monitored by CCTV. Oh, 
that was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, yep. anyone remotely involved in an organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the bath, team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, they're good as dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage. Carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, bugs. This is a bug. I'm Andy. This is Alison today. We're going to be pretending that everything is fine. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That was as long as I could manage. That's a second and a half. A reality time now, however. And, uh, well, finally today, we're going to road test the latest update to the CSA app, the government app that has brought the great British tradition of snitching on people you don't like back to the very heart of public life, the uh, school playground. I'm going to tell a new threat. It's got a whole new lease of life these days, thanks to uh, C. What do we do now? Don't just blunder in. Hack the building CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Good plan. Hotel Cass, the uh, chain of hotels that was formerly known as the prison service. What was the slogan, is it? If you see something, say something. Or if you think you might at some point see something, say something. Or if you haven't seen anything but don't like someone, say something anyway. Uh, so, well, let's have a look at this new app. Alex, I'm sure you've got it on, on, on your phone. I mean, at, at first glance, well, the interface is lovely. It's so neatly designed. A simple button to snitch on someone. So much better. Propaganda poster? Could you not let me report you first, please? <laughs> Let's have some decorum about this. Um, 
I'll just take a quick little photo so they can get a drone to pick you out of a crowd at your next riot or trip to the shops or <laughs> walk in the woods. Uh, and you, you can input input your accusations uh, with the app. Well, let's go old school. Let's call the photo. Stay smart. Inside. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. I will try to find out something. Hey, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. Champagne's late. And you know how these rich bastards are like free block. We need up the people in. Yeah, products primed and ready for sale. No worries. Nah, shit. Not for this lot, at least. <laughs> Come on, look at the camera. Straight. Right, that's good. Stand up now. And slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this. Please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking. Miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right then, get him downstairs. We'll update the catalogue and put his stats no, online. No, I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. <laughs> Don't take me there. No. Shut the fuck up. Shit. What the fuck? We should take a gander. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access codes laying around somewhere. Thanks for the sanity, yeah, you were right. knobhead. Fantastic. Turned around so quick, man. Swear the voices don't match. These rich people are drinking cocktails and buying slaves. Ugh, makes me want to vomit. That or kill them all. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. Add decades with a new heart. Kidney, lungs, cornea. Well, there it is. The golden goose. 
Mary Kelly set up a fucking online marketplace for everything bad. Sugar traffic, black market organs, guns. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something interesting. Miss Kelly, why is our explosive shipment delayed? You've received the crypto. Every penny now. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organization could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. But we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign, autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment, and London will be yours to rule. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. This is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bags, we need to get to the website servers. We can pull the intel Caitlin's after and fry everything else. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuttle protocol and some kind of mix net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. The guy upstairs are welcomed. Everyone seems to be running the show. Might save us some time.
instincts. I've got coordinates for the Golden Goose servers and there's a bonus to microchip control relay. Both for a Neo Gate. That is good work. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going down for all of this. I think we should break the servers and the microchip control thing before we do that. People go free, we get to fuck shit up. Everybody's happy. Next stop, NeoGate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. The series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next stuff. one. Peace.